In 2024, a formidable challenge will confront the entire world. From the depths of the Pacific Ocean, a disruptive force is emerging, throwing the natural order of seasons into disarray and affecting life in unimaginable ways. This intruder goes by the name of El Nino. El Nino is a climatic phenomenon characterized by the unusual warming of the surface waters in the eastern tropical Pacific Ocean. This occurrence takes place every two to seven years, typically persisting for about a year. Its repercussions extend globally, causing severe weather events, including fierce storms in some regions and parching droughts in others. This year, the world experienced one of the hottest years in recent history, and 2024 is poised to be even more scorching due to the sway of El Nino. Join us today as we uncover the catastrophic climate phenomenon awaiting us in 2024. Before we start, click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. It's worth noting that El Nino is not a newcomer. It has occurred many times before, unleashing extreme weather patterns worldwide. One of the most infamous occurrences took place between 1789 to 1793 now commonly referred to as the Great El Nino. This episode gave rise to widespread deviations in global climate patterns and left an indelible mark on human history. In India, excessive rainfall and subsequent flooding played a role in the emergence of a cholera epidemic that later spread worldwide. Likewise, Peru and Ecuador bore the brunt of intense rains and floods, inflicting substantial loss of life and property on their populations. Moving into the 20th century, the 1982-1983 El Nino event ranked among the most formidable of the century, leading to catastrophic weather-related disasters across the globe. This event brought forth fierce storms along the western coast of South America, severe drought in the western Pacific, and devastating bushfires in Australia. Furthermore, the 1997-1998 El Nino event proved equally devastating, causing widespread flooding and landslides in California, fires in Indonesia, and catastrophic weather conditions in numerous other regions worldwide. The most recent El Nino event occurred in 2016, which caused drought conditions in Venezuela, Australia, and a number of Pacific Islands while significant flooding was also recorded. This year, the planet warming phase has already begun, and countries are racing to prepare for extreme weather later in the year. Scientists say this year looks particularly worrying. The last time a strong El Nino was in full swing in 2016, the world saw its hottest year on record. Meteorologists expect that this El Nino, coupled with excess warming from climate change, will see the world grapple with record high temperatures. So what is El Nino? And what happens during this phenomenon? El Nino means the boy child, a name historically linked to Jesus Christ. It received this title because fishermen along the South American coast often observed it around Christmas time. Every two to seven years, the equatorial Pacific Ocean gets up to three degrees Celsius warmer than usual, triggering a cascade of effects felt around the world. This global phenomenon is the biggest cause of year-to-year -year differences in weather in many regions. During El Nino, winds blowing west along the equator slow down, and warm water is pushed east, creating warmer surface ocean temperatures, leading to a rise in overall global temperatures. This natural phenomenon is the most powerful fluctuation in the climate system anywhere on Earth. During El Nino, the ocean transfers excess heat and moisture to the atmosphere. As El Nino pushes warm water in the Pacific Ocean eastwards, it produces drier and warmer weather in northern U.S. and intense rainfall and flooding in the U.S. Gulf Coast and southeast. In Europe, it can lead to colder and drier winters in the north, and wetter winters in the south. In 2024, El Nino is poised to change atmospheric circulation patterns, influence tropical extratropical interactions, and impact subtropical jets, monsoons, and even polar vortices, and finally result in a rapid surge in global mean surface temperature. A strong El Nino can add up to 0.2 degrees Celsius to the average temperature of the Earth. 
This could mean breaking the crucial 1.5 degrees Celsius global warming limit. As a result, the world will face more intense heat waves, prolonged hot seasons and more powerful storms. Since the planet has already warmed by around 1.2 degrees Celsius relative to pre-industrial times, and El Nino adds some extra heat to the atmosphere, it is highly possible that Earth's rising temperature will temporarily exceed the 1.5 degrees Celsius threshold sometime after the peak of the El Nino in 2024. Scientists are still unsure how El Nino will behave in the future, but its effects will probably be amplified by climate change in different regions of the world. Yet, how climate change might be affecting El Nino remains a very big research question. While climate change is doubling down on the impacts from El Nino, layering heat on top of heat, or excess rainfall on top of excess rainfall, it's less clear if climate change is influencing the phenomenon itself. Currently, El Nino is ramping up, and scientists are predicting that it will peak at the end of this year. A big El Nino at the end of this year gives a high chance that we will have a new record global temperature in 2024. Scientists also say there's a 1 in 4 chance of this event exceeding 2 degrees Celsius at its peak, which is getting into the territory of a super El Nino. The impacts of the onset of El Nino will likely lag behind by a few months, but will be felt all over the world. As the globe heats up, some regions are warming up faster than others. Australia is a good example of this. The country will experience hotter and drier conditions, with intensified droughts and wildfires. Australia is 1.4 degrees Celsius hotter now than in the early 20th century. Every year, the area of the continent scorched by wildfires increases, fueled by a dry trend induced by climate change. During the upcoming El Nino event, scientists expect less rain, higher temperatures, and increased fire risk, especially during winter and spring in the Southern Hemisphere. The underlying influence of climate change makes Australia extremely vulnerable to the effects of an El Nino. Colombia is another country that is at high risk. During El Nino events, the fall in precipitation and rise in temperature has been linked to outbreaks of diseases spread by insects, such as malaria and dengue fever. Higher temperatures during this time boost the rates at which mosquitoes breed and bite. Elsewhere during an El Nino, the Amazon rainforest dries and vegetation growth slows so that less carbon dioxide is absorbed from the atmosphere, a trend repeated in the tropical forests of Africa, India and Australia. India's monsoons and rains in southern Africa can also be suppressed. Other regions, such as East Africa and the southern US, both of which have suffered severe recent droughts, can get more rain and flooding. The effects of El Nino could also be felt as far as the northern hemisphere mid-latitudes, with a likelihood of wetter conditions in Spain from summer onwards, and drier conditions on the eastern seaboard of the U.S. in the following winter and spring. The largest effect could be observed in northern Europe, where winters become drier and colder. A frosty winter season in 2023 and 2024 is likely if El Nino ramps up sufficiently by then. As a result of global warming, scientists expect El Nino's influence over the North Atlantic and Northern European winter will strengthen. Aside from causing drastic changes in weather, El Nino also endangers marine life along the Pacific coast. In normal conditions, a phenomenon known as upwelling brings cool, nutrient-rich water up from the ocean depths. But when El Nino occurs, this process is suppressed or halted completely. This means fewer phytoplankton along the coast resulting in less food for certain fish. Warmer water also causes bleaching in coral reefs leaving them at greater risk of starvation. According to a study published last month in the journal Science, the upcoming El Nino event could lead to global economic losses of $3 trillion, shrinking GDP as extreme weather decimates agricultural production, manufacturing, and helps spread disease. The strong El Nino in 1997 to 1998 cost over $5 trillion with around 23,000 deaths from storms and floods. Governments in vulnerable countries are taking note. 
Peru has set aside $1 billion to deal with El Nino's impacts and climate change, while the Philippines, at risk from cyclones, has formed a special government team to handle the predicted fallout. As a part of a natural climate oscillation, the occurrence of El Nino is out of human control, but the actual impacts of individual El Nino events depend mainly on the adaptive capabilities of individual countries. The recent advances in early forecasting now give affected regions much more time to prepare, for example, by stocking up on essential crops. To this end, fundamental research on El Nino dynamics and forecasting models can enable governments and farmers to mitigate some of the impacts that this and future even stronger El Nino events will have. We are interested to hear your thoughts on this upcoming climate phenomenon. What do you think will happen in 2024? Leave your opinions in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.